Good evening. I'm honored to have been asked to feature tonight. Um, I'm just back for my third journey from California to Northwest New Jersey, a thousand miles that continued to go until I was 8,000 miles. And uh, while I'm on my journeys, I write. And so this is Journey. Mainly, I travel in silence in order to absorb the landscapes and lifestyles unlike my own. In my mind, with the cadence of the wheels, I write poems. Sonora Pass, State Route 108, California. July. I drive my motorhome on hot eastward Route 108, winding through small, colorfully named towns, Soulsbyville, Twain Heart, Confidence, Long Barn, Strawberry, a road only open May to October. I leave behind urban sprawl for peaceful mountain streams rippling with trout. Brightman Flat Campground nests below minarets along the banks of the Stanislaus River, a respite after a hundred miles. Across the river, up the steep hillside, silent stands of dead trees, trunks blackened from fire. This campground saved from harm. Here, mixed conifers shelter aging picnic tables and fire rings prohibited from use. I, a lone camper. At dusk, long-bodied bees skim over loose earth, hunting something. They don't share their secrets. Balmy summer night. No sirens or free ray war, only the river murmurs. At morning, westward flowing Stanislaus glitters gold, pines alive with chirps, wrens and warblers on wings, woodpeckers tow their way up trunks, hunting burrowed insects. Tall red bark cedars cast long shadows on hot soil. Between kissing pines, sun caught in needled branches that last night held the moon. Good morning, high Sierra summer. Back on the road, steep and narrow, I pass through alpine meadows, roadside lined with evergreens, across Pacific Crest Trail. No traffic here where curve after curve challenges driving skills, each tight bend marked in miles per hour, some as low as 10, none higher than 25. Climbing, climbing, my vehicle in second gear pulls. I lean forward thinking to help. Engine strains to reach the summit. 9,624 feet where the picnic area beckons, a short hiking trail, relief for the road weary. Then treacherous 26 degree downgrade, winding, winding down towards tiny Sonora Junction, Bridgeport and Highway 395. Extraterrestrial Highway, Nevada. Departing Tonopah, Nevada, heading southeast, Highway 375 cuts through a vast area of open desert, close by Area 51. Extraterrestrial Highway, clearly marked with a pockmarked sign. Surprisingly lonely highway with few cars, random ranch vehicles pass going west. I, a solo driver, 77 years old, 
traveling in my 23 foot class C motorhome, accompanied by cat. 40 miles along another sun. Aliens welcome here. Landing pad five miles ahead. Large billboards feature cartoons of smiling little green men being offered an American flag. Cliche flying saucers hover around obvious American planes. Shortly, condition of the narrow road worsens. Multiple potholes, rough washboard surface jiggles everything, teeth chatter. My cat's head bobs up and down. All this motion causes the generator door along the left side of the RV to pop open. Looks like a gull wing visible in my side view mirror. I pray no oncoming car knocks off my avian appendage. Luckily, no one passes. On this two lane road, no place wide enough to stop. I count the miles, glance at the odometer, check the rear for potential passing vehicles. Finally, a dirt trail into a ranch. I pull over, step from my air conditioned cab into a hundred degree heat with my duct tape in hand. Emergency lights blink red, motorhome just barely off the road. I fear to sink into soft soil. Bent over, I inspect the latch. Unexplained malfunction. Worried it will pop open again, I secure the door with lots of tape. A shiny white pickup truck approaches. A handsome cowboy rolls down his window. Need help? Think I've got it covered, but thanks for stopping. Stay safe, he says, tips his hat, smiles, and pulls away. I didn't ask what planet he was from. Through Utah. From Southern Nevada, highway crosses invisible line. Welcome to Utah. Canyon lands of rough red rocks, eye candy for miles. Round each bend, I gasp in awe. Thank the powers that be for preserving much of this land. Heat radiates off of stone formations, dry as sandpaper. Fingers trace millions of years of erosion, layered waves of wonder. There must be a color chart for this variation on red. Perhaps the paint strip starts with canyon red. Camped on a roadside pull-off, sun dips behind spires, all quiet at night. At dawn, ATVs arrive with noisy engines, disturbing the silence of the stones. I pack up and move on. Road through Capitol Reef, infinite variety of formations, slabs, waves, domes, walls, minarets, paradise of rock. On to Goblin Valley, where mushroom-shaped rocks haunt a moonlit night. At dusk, bats circle and dine. Air still hot from day, I sit on a formation radiating daytime temperatures. Moon rises and sets, leaves a cloud cover, promised stars hidden. Down valley, lightning flashes, a soundless storm rages in awesome splendor. Spectator to midnight entertainment. I seem to be the only one awake to witness this wonder. Thoughts on a sunset. Something sad about final moments of a sunset. Last light clinging to branches, leaves glowing neon, birds winging away in final flight of day. Fly home to roost. 
Humid heat fades slowly. Moisture clings to tendrils of my hair. A glow of reflected light hangs like a boudoir curtain in the east. Seems the sun holds still, unable to surrender tonight. Maybe there will be no tomorrow. It's not like night is not beautiful. Surely it is with its veil of stars. But without the warmth of your arms, night falls hard, lonely, and long. So while I'm on the road, every day I wrote, anywhere from three to a dozen haiku for the day. So this is a haiku sampler. Rabbit brush, small shade. Sheltered diminutive squirrels, scamper with raised tails. Fat red ants crawl, carry white burdens somewhere, ignore boundaries. Ants on hot asphalt, what protects their tiny feet? I watch from cool shade. Smallest striped spider walks across my lines of verse, alters summer poem. Trucks pass, carry hay, bales leave straw clouds in their wake. Kansas production. Mountain storm blows north. Rain-soaked grass smells like wet dogs. Summer eve, monsoon. Family dinner, gather under umbrella. Shared love in shade. Police. Knock on door. Against the rules to camp here. Tomorrow I move. Storm rages on road. Blinding rain. Hail pounds. Windshield. Trucks roar behind me. Facing death. I pray. Can't see. Pull off. Then a sign. Highway 12. Scenic bypass. Well, sometimes the haiku would result in a combination that I would create a longer poem. So this is Armadillos. I had not until today seen an armadillo in the wild. This morning, I saw three dead on the roadside in rural Missouri. Highway 60. Four lanes passing gracefully through dense forest, broad, grassy, dividing strip, extremely light traffic. Roadkill frequently greets me on bright sunny mornings. Squirrels, opossums, raccoons, coyotes, deer. Once even an eagle, wing pinned to the pavement, eyes staring at the sky but armadillos lying upside down on their scaly body armor made me weep with regret. A reminder that we are driving killing machines. So as I traveled, I made note of signs. Um, I didn't photograph them, unfortunately. They're photographed in my mind. So this is traveling across America, signs along the way. Tonopah, Nevada, speed limit 25. Large billboard behind official sign. Don't even think of going faster. The sheriff is watching. Courtesy, Tonopah Hotel, Casino, an RV park. I stopped the night behind the casino, put a $20 bill in dancing drum slot machine. Exit two hours later, 
with $80. There's your theme. Kansas. Fuck Biden. Fuck Biden flags flap. Not many, but enough to disturb my peaceful meditation. Kentucky. Will Rogers Parkway. Bulky man holds an eight foot tall white wooden cross emblazoned with the words, Jesus saves. His left arm holds the weight. A free arm wildly waves at passing motorists. His mouth wide yells something I cannot hear. A moment later, thick gray clouds break apart, sending streams of godlight onto the highway in glorious beams. Ten miles roll under the wheels, then rain pours down on hot asphalt, creates a hellish steam that rises ominously from the roadway. Missouri, unique wild guns. Beside the road, yellow painted warehouse filled with weapons, huge American flag on an impossibly tall pole. Yesterday, four shot in a campground. Virginia, escape shaft number six, ambulance entrance. How many times has this escape route been used? How many lives trapped in coal dust? How often the ambulance siren? Down the road, Rows of weather-worn double-wide trailers, home to generations of weary miners, lungs black, consumers forgetful of the sacrifice. Tennessee, Baptist Ambulance. Would they, I worry? Carry a lapsed Catholic? So you, when I'm on the road, I also just make note of things that are of interest and later they turn into poems that were inspired by a landscape long gone. So this is one of them that I will conclude with. Arroyos. In this parched Utah landscape, Horses travel in arroyos. On silent hoofs move towards water. A sturdy white mare guides her foal. The rest of her breed follows. Through dry washes, they run towards the spring. I have hidden my love for you in a deep arroyo when I should have sent it running with the horses, at first too cautious, too fearful of another loss. Before you came my landscape parched and arid like the land of central Utah. You guided me towards sustaining springs. Together we watched the horses drink followed them as they disappeared into arroyos. They left only dust rising above the desert ditches. The sun vanished behind the rolling hills, the stars reflected in the spring. Somewhere beyond the arroyos, the horses hid in protective herds, slept standing up as horses do, while you and I 
lay beneath the midnight sky in the quiet arroyos of each other's arms. I dreamt of horses at the spring and yielded to the icy water. Thank you. Oh, very beautiful. Thank you so much. People, you can unmute <laughs> and let her know. What a, what a beautiful set. Oh, Yay! Bravo! That's great, Louise. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. Yay, Louise. Very much. Tremendous. Tremendous.